Hi, we're almost there. This is the tutorial on how to plan a guided tour. And this guided tour is what's going to take your users, your viewers, through your exhibit. So this is how you can control how someone sees it. In order to create a guided tour, you need to add guide points. So on the left hand side, you'll notice we have a button that says add guide points. Go ahead and click that. And we we're going to choose what the title of this guide point is. Now you can use these guide point to show a wall of art or artifacts or just a specific artifact. So I'm going to call this one narrative and give it a description. When I'm finished, I'll click save. And you'll notice now the small camera. And then I have this new little view box in the upper right hand corner that's showing me what the camera sees. So as I move the camera back and forth, you will notice that I see more or less. So I'm gonna start by moving the camera over here because I wanna show the wall that has my narrative on it. So I'm just gonna move my camera here and click. Zoom in a little bit and navigate around. Now let's click on this again, the camera again, and you'll notice I have the same small menu that says move, rotate, and remove. What I wanna do now is I wanna rotate that camera because you can see by my viewer in the upper right corner what the camera's looking at. I need it to look at this white wall. So by using the rotate tool, I now have this orb, for lack of a better word, that appears around my camera. What I want to use is this green arc, and it's hard to see, but I'm going to click the green arc and I'm just going to swivel it. And you can watch the camera moving. So I'm going to swivel it so that it's sort of straight. And I can use that, this red arc to help me decide when it's straight. Now I want to use the move tool to move my camera left and right and forward and backward. So now when the person starts my tour, this is the first thing that they're gonna see. Let's make another one. I'm gonna add another guide point, and this one is gonna only show my Georgia O'Keeffe picture. And here's the description. Again, I'll choose save, and I'm gonna place my camera near where the Georgia O'Keeffe is. Doesn't have to be perfect, just in the ballpark. And again, I'm gonna use rotate, and that green arc to rotate my camera so that you can see the Georgia O'Keeffe. Now I'm gonna to switch to the move tool and again, move it back a little bit and left and right until it's showing just what I want it to show. All right, and for my last one, I'm gonna choose one more guide point. I'm gonna show you the entire wall. And I'm gonna call this royal cats or royal animals. All right, when I'm finished, I'll click save. And I'm gonna put my camera way back here so that you can see the whole wall. And again, I'll click to place it and things look pretty good. I might move it left and right a little bit and I might try to zoom in a little bit using the blue arrow here, but that's, that's pretty good. Now, one trick that I did learn from watching some other people's galleries is that I'm going to come over to this guide point and you'll notice when I mouse over it, I get this pencil icon where I can edit. Some people have named these. So um, left to right, it is going to be, um, so what they've done is they've listed the names, the titles of all of the artwork in one area. And then you'll see when we preview this and we can go through the gallery ourselves, then I can then click on any of the pieces of art to see them a little bit more up close. So we'll just click save. All right, so that's our guided tour. So how do we start our guided tour? Let's check out, well, first let's click save. Always wanna keep saving. But now I'm gonna click view. And when I click view, it shows me my gallery and I'm gonna click play. And here's where it shows me my very first item. And it is a timed exhibition or a timed tour. And now here's what I was talking about. If I wanted to see this picture of Charles of York, I could click on it 
and I could see Charlie Duke of York a little bit more up close. I could get closer to it here, but here's where I can see the placard. All right, and then I click that again to start my tour all over again. All right, now, how do you get back to the edit mode? Underneath the image, underneath your tour, click on edit. And that's how you can set up your guided tour.